The LG V30 is definitely one of those devices that you should take notice of if you're interested in getting a new smartphone, and especially if you're just really sold on an LG product. The V series is the best that they put out. The G series does well. They've come a long way since a few years ago. But if you really want an LG device, the V series is the way to go. It comes fully loaded. There's a ton of features involved. It's got one of the best camera apps that you can get from a smartphone. The display at normal use looks pretty good. I know there's reports about the display when you got it in a dark environment and you got the brightness turned all the way down. There's some just inconsistencies there. And we all know about the Pixel 2 XL. <sighs> LG just didn't do a good job on the Pixel this time around. And that did kind of taint my view on LG a little bit. And if it's not a deal breaker to you, you should definitely not worry about that part of the display issues. If you can look past the display issues, there's plenty to like about the device. First of all, it's got a great camera app. It's one of the best ones that you can get in a smartphone. It's just amazing what they've included. They've got cinematic features this time, which is pretty cool, especially if you like to take videos with your smartphone. The rear facing camera's got two different shooters. It's got a zoom and also just your regular shooter. And it's a nice option to have. It kind of adds some more quality to your images. However, on the front facing camera, ugh, it's really grainy and you got to have great lighting in order to get a good image from the front facing camera. So if you're into the selfie game, that's definitely not a phone that you're gonna to wanna to get because it just doesn't take good images from the front facing camera. As far as the rear camera goes, I've really been impressed with what LG has done these last few years. It's been one of the best. I think they do a really good job in the camera department. So if you're looking for those kind of features, if you want everything involved, it's really the best or one of the best. Samsung does a great job as well as far as features go with your camera. So between the two, you just really kind of have to look at what you're looking for in a device. The V30 has a glass back this time around, which allows for wireless charging. Wireless charging is definitely a more appreciated topic this time around, thanks to Apple with including wireless charging. Us Android users, we've had that for a while now, and it's definitely something that a lot of users enjoy. So you get that with the V30. Speaking about the back end, they have that sticker on the back. You're gonna to have to <laughs> use some special tactics to get that sticker off. I didn't take it off because this was a review unit from Verizon, which I appreciate them guys sitting out this review unit for me to try out so I can talk to you guys about what I like and what I don't like about the V30. It is a pretty nice looking device. I like the quality of it. The glass back looks good. I'm not a fan of glass backs these days just because one, it adds extra worry about cracking the back or fingerprints and all that kind of stuff. But for the most part, many people have cases or skins installed on their devices. So it's not necessarily a deal breaker to me. It's just not something I particularly like. LG has kept the fingerprint reader on the back and it's also a button. It's the power button. So that's a unique feature now because not many other companies do that with it being a button, something that you can press in and it being the fingerprint reader. As far as accuracy goes, it worked really well. I didn't have any kind of issues with it. Speaking on the same subject as performance goes, it was snappy. I didn't have any kind of lag or anything like that. So it's a good device. It gets solid battery life. You're gonna make it through the whole day. No worries there in that department. The performance does well. LG has gotten better about the UI design. It's not the best still. I don't really care for how it looks. And if you can change up the themes, maybe different launchers, things like that, you could change it up to see how it looks, to kind of customize it to the way that you want it to look. I really don't like the LG design. It's just not my favorite. It's getting better. Like I just like the more stock Android or the vanilla Android experience more. The V30 stuck with a 16 by nine ratio, but it has a bezel-less design. So the footprint of the device, which is completely different from what we've experienced before, is smaller. And I love this bezel-less design movement that we have because you're getting these really awesome big screens but the footprint like the size of the phone itself is a nice design because i love being able to use it one-handed it's not uncomfortable i was able to reach different parts of the screen without any kind of issues i wasn't stretching across really in a rough way that you know some of these really big devices can be kind of kind of hard to reach in certain places and that goes with that fingerprint reader as well it's in a nice and natural spot it's not next to any kind of cameras or any other kind of functions that's there by itself. So that's a good thing about the design of the V30. I made a video with the LG V30 in it, and that was a speaker test. And that's one of the areas that it doesn't do the best at. The speaker quality isn't that great to me. You know, it's just kind of normal. It's a bottom firing speaker. There's no sound coming from the top earpiece, which would have been better. 
I like how, you know, one, the Pixel 2 XL has front-facing speakers, which is great, but then there's other devices like the HTC U11, the iPhone 8, they have like a front-facing speaker kind of experience because they got sound coming from the earpiece that helps out a lot. If LG were to revisit some areas, I would suggest that they take a little bit more time with the speaker quality and also the display. There's really not too much to complain about the LG V30. It's really kind of comes down to preferences. As I mentioned, I don't care for the UI design. That's something that can be kind of tweaked and fixed with other kind of third-party apps and theming. The display itself, you know, in normal use, it's pretty good, but with the issues that we've seen with displays, it kind of changes my opinion a bit about what LG has done. And this is a time period to where people care about the front-facing camera just as much as the rear. I want great image quality coming from both sides. And I think a lot of people hold that opinion as well. A lot of people use the selfie camera for other selfies, group pictures, just, you know, everyday kind of stuff. And that's an area that LG has struggled with with the V30. So there's a lot of good about the LG V30. There are some things that aren't that great. And overall, it's a pretty good device. It's nowhere near perfect, but you know, is there a perfect device out there? We've yet to see that come. Would I recommend getting this device? I think that you should really take the time to see what the features are, see what the strong points are, if there's any weaknesses that will be deal breakers to you, because the LG V30 is a pretty good device. I'm not gonna say it's a great device, but it's definitely worth taking note of. I definitely think that you will like it if you're an LG fan. You will have no issues with it. If you are interested in getting the LG V30, there's a link down below in the video description so you can grab one for yourself. And it's not as expensive as compared to some of the competitors. So that's another perk about the LG V30. So this was basically just like a summary of what my experience was like with the LG V30. If there's other questions that you wanna know about the V30, please leave them down below in the comment section. I'll be happy to try to answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stick around to this channel for more content coming really soon. I'd love to keep this conversation going, so leave a comment down below or hit me up on all the social networks. All those links are down below in the video description as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I really hope that you have a great one.